Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're trying a whole different type of video known as a Pokemon Advanced Nuzlocke. Now, I've tried this in the past, but the difference between this and that is in the past I did an episodic series. Uh, but this is an entire run of the game all in one video. And I think that just makes it a lot more cohesive and interesting to watch. And uh, yeah, so um, I'll, I'm going to be playing Pokemon Crystal Dust and I'll establish the rules of an advanced Nuzlocke. So for starters, if a Pokemon faints, you can't use it anymore. The first encounter of each route is the only one that you can catch. You have to nickname your Pokemon. You can't use any items in battle except for Pokeballs. And it must be set to set mode. With all of that said, let's get on to the video. Alright people, let's get this Nuzlocke started. There's good old Professor Oak. We love him. Alright, so obviously we're gonna be Duffy. Because that's who we are. Alright, so let's get a move on. Let's go pick our first Pokemon. Alright fam, so... While I pick my starter, I'm gonna tell you guys... Uh, no! Alright, so as I was saying, while I pick my starter, I'm gonna tell you guys why I chose this ROM hack. So, initially, I was gonna start with, um... I was gonna start with Pokemon Ruby, but... I was kind of sick of Gen 3, honestly, and I'm like, I want to go through Johto, because I, I barely played this game at all, and this uh, I heard that uh, Crystal Dust was really good, so I, I thought I'd give it a shot. I have I have actually played this game before, um, I just realized my mouse was there the whole time. <laughs> I have played this game before, but it's been a long, long time, um, so I'm very excited to get back into it. Let's see what this punk is doing. So this is the famous uh, Pokemon Elm Lab, whatever. You are, st what are you staring at? Okay. Wow, w what a jerk. <laughs> okay, here we go, Route 29. This is gonna be our first encounter. The Nuzlocke has not started yet, because fun fact about Nuzlocke, you may already know, this doesn't start until you get Pokeballs. It's a Pidgey. Okay, we got this. Go, Bujin. So, it's just Scratch and Leer, okay. Are you serious? He got a critical hit? Okay, well, um, oh, wow. How do you get a crit on the first two crits in a row? What the heck is this? Bujin's Orenberry. He had an Orenberry? Are you kidding me? Okay, that's annoying. And Scratch Pog. Okay, we got a Sentry right here. And here we are in Cherry Grove City. So let's head to the Pokemon Center and heal up our Totodile. Alright, so we healed up. I think the- can we actually buy Pokeballs yet? Let's see. Um, welcome, how may I help you? We can't. Okay, so we- the Nuzlocke has not started yet. We can't buy Pokeballs. Fooey. Alright then, well, uh, let's see here. Let's go up here then. This guy just gave us an orange berry. How nice. Okay, we're here. Let's go in. So this is Mr. Pokemon. Hello, hello, you must be Duffy. Professor Elm said that you would visit. <laughs> Professor Elm and I, okay, no one cares. And voila, we get the Pokédex. All right, now we just head back to Cherry Grove City. Okay, we got, we got this idiot. Are we gonna have to battle him? All right, let's see here, what do we got? Okay, trainer, question mark, question mark, question mark. He's got a Chikorita. Okay, so this should be it. Oh, not, not quite. All right, we got him. Guys, I completely forgot. We gotta check the nature of our, um, our, uh, our Toto Owl. What's his nature? Sassy nature. So that is, uh, that's plus special defense minus speed. Which is a little annoying, I won't lie. Um, because having our speed stat going down is really annoying. Because I'd like to have fast Pokemon on our team. Uh, team and special defense, whatever. I would have rather had defense, but it's fine. No big deal. Alright, here we go. We're in the lab. Oh gosh, who cares. Okay, so now we pick this guy's name. And I think I know just what to call him. 
Perfecto. Exactly. Okay, so now I give him that stupid egg that no one cares about. Whatever. It's a Pokemon egg, blah blah blah. Okay guys, we actually have Pokeballs now, which means the Nuzlocke has officially started. So from here on out, any Pokemon that faint are dead. Let's do this. Oh gosh, guys. I'm so excited. Wait, what's this idiot? Alright, Pog. So we're done with that guy. What's our first encounter gonna be? Let's see here. What do we got? Oh gosh, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's a Hoppip. You know, actually, I will take that. Getting a good grass Pokemon early on is not bad. Okay, so we got Route 46. It's a new area. What's over here? Okay, new encounter. What do we got? A Geodude. That's actually really helpful. Why does it have to be level 2? Okay, let's catch it. Alright, new Pokemon. What do we got? Let's see. A Pidgey would be nice. And that's exactly what we got. Let's go. Okay, here we go. First trainer battle. Too easy, dude. I literally just destroyed his Rattata. Okay, guys, I completely forgot. This is an advanced Nuzlocke, which means standard Nuzlocke rules, but also, you know, uh, set mode and no healing items in battle. I have not used any healing items in battle, and set mode is not enabled. But thankfully, I have not done a fight with, uh, with a trainer with more than one Pokemon, so I have not technically, you know, I technically have not been disqualified from the challenge yet, so we're okay. Okay, we got another trainer here. Let's kick him. Okay, he just got another Rattata. And... Oh, almost a KO. Okay. And Pog. We win. Okay, so here we are in Route 31. So, a new encounter. What do we got? A Caterpie. Okay, whatever. I just remembered. I'm out of Pokeballs. I can't even catch this thing. Okay, so here we are in the Dark Cave. Let's get a new Pokemon. It... I think it'll just be a Geodude, right? Can, I'm pretty sure you, Oh no, a Zubat, that's right. You can find Zubats in here. Let's see, what do we got? It's a Geodude, okay. Here we go, a Zubat. You know, I completely forgot about this area, actually. The Sprout Tower. Let's get through the Sprout Tower, then. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay, guys, my... My guy just lost, like, half of HP. My Bujin. Okay, we're okay. He's just gonna keep spamming that. We might actually lose our Pidgey here. I'm a little scared. Uh, okay, that does a decent amount of damage. Um, okay, okay, we have more speed than it, and it only does two damage, three damage on a high roll. So, it goes... What? Oh, no! It got a crit! Okay. Okay. Uh, we're gonna lose Birdo. We're gonna lose Birdo. Oh, my God! Thank you. Oh, we got a crit. Okay, but we still have a problem here. Um, oh, he only had one. Guys, that was too close. Okay, so we actually can get encounters in here, and it's a Rattata. It really couldn't have been a Bellsprout. Seriously? Okay. And no big deal. Let's just catch it. Alright, as you guys can see, everyone is grinded up. Uh, and Birdo has Gust, which means we are going to totally sweep the Bellsprout Tower. Let's go do it. Alright, check this out. You guys saw that, right? That was pretty insane. All right, let's do it. So he had a Bellsprout and a Hoot Hoot, which we were easily able to kill both of them with just Pidgey. Honestly, Pidgey early game, pretty overpowered Pokemon, not gonna lie. And boom, we get the Flash HM. All right, it's gym time. To be totally honest, this gym was really underwhelming. I mean, Geodude with Rock Throw totally obliterated this guy. Alright, so we just got two things from this guy. A, we got an egg, which is a gift Pokemon, so I'm not going to be using it. But more importantly, running shoes. This is important. But yeah, no go gift Pokemon in this challenge. I just think gift Pokemon are really overpowered and just make the game unfun for me. Uh, I want all of the Pokemon that we get to be our own. So yeah. Alright, here we are on Route 32. Okay, so we got an Ekans here. That's pretty good. No, are you kidding me? I cr No! I killed it with a quick attack. Okay, okay, no big deal. Okay, so we found an Onyx. That's actually really good. I'm gonna switch into Bujin, and we're gonna catch this guy. Okay, here we go, guys. We got uh, our Totodile is evolving into Croconaut. Let's go. Okay, we got ourselves a Spearow. Okay, okay, guys, we have this Machop here. He almost killed Rock, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, 
And here we are in Azalea Town. This is probably one of my favorite towns of the game, honestly. And looks like we got some story stuff in here. Okay, I like Forest. New Pokemon, what do we got? It's a Caterpie. Uh... Guys, I'm feeling pretty good. We have a lot of viable Pokemon to use right now. So let's go take care of Team Rocket. Oh no, the old man. Who cares about this? Ugh. Alright, new Pokemon. It's a Slowpoke. Okay, cool. Let's catch it. Alright guys, so now we gotta take care of the next gym, but I wanna grind up everyone to level 20 before we do so. No! We lost Pissar! Oh no, I, I was just spamming Hyper Fang. I wasn't paying attention. Ugh, oh, that sucks. Okay. Oh man. Ugh. Oh. Guys, I'm telling you, Raticate would have actually been really good for early to mid game. I'm so sad about that, dude. Oh. I mean, he wasn't really that good anyway. He's, his stats weren't great. He didn't have a very good nature. It's it's no big deal. Well, this is it. Goodbye. So, I easily took care of his first two Pokemon with Birdo. Uh, however... His third Pokemon, Scyther, was a little bit scary because it had Steel Wing, and it it, it really got it got my my Birdo down to the yellow. So I switched in with uh, with Rock Dude and I took him out. All right, let's help out these Farfetched. All right, we helped out this stupid Farfetched. All right, we got HM1, and now we can use Cut. Let's go. And we taught Headbutt to Rock Dude from some guy in this forest. No, I don't want to learn Self Destruct. Get out of here. And here we are in Goldenrod, so I'm going to do some, some grinding, and then we're going to go to the next gym. And I got the bike. I'm not too happy about a snubble, but it's no big deal. So I start with Geodude and pretty easily take out her Clefairy. But then she sends a Miltank, and Miltank is known for sweeping entire teams with her Stomp Charm Strat. To avoid this, I switch it with Birdo to hopefully set up some Syntax, but unfortunately, she starts doing her Stomp Charm Strat, strat and, and Stomp also flinches, making it almost impossible to land a hit. I was only able to land a single sand attack before I had to switch. That sand attack actually ended up being worth it though. I, just, I decided to switch with her Oxy, hoping Bite will do a little something, but it does literally next to nothing. And she takes her out without a problem. I was really sad about this because I really wanted Gramble for endgame. I decided to go in with Rock Dude knowing his defense is buffed due to his nature, but her Stomp Charm Strat actually starts doing real damage, which really scared me. And it wasn't helping that I had bad magnitude RNG. Hoping to not have to deal with this RNG, I use Rock Throw, but it does nothing. Thankfully, I was able to take it out with some good RNG and win the battle. That was one hell of a fight. That was scary. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm not even gonna lie. She was doing really good. Like, I, at first I was like, okay, my Geodude is tanky. It, it's nature boosts its defense. I'll be fine, you know? And then she starts flinching me on top of the attract. Oh my god, I was freaking out, dude. And we lost the Snubble, the, the brand new team member. Are you kidding me? That's so dumb. Alright, whatever. We're alive. We have Geodude still. Geodude, honestly, right now, Geodude and Croconar are like the two Pokemon right now who are really keeping this run going. If we had lost Geodude, we would definitely be out. Alright, time to say goodbye to Roxy. What really sucks is that this is a brand new team member that I spent like 30 minutes grinding up to that level. Whatever, doesn't matter. I'm gonna buy a couple of these uh, these energy roots in the black market because they're actually quite handy. And we found a coin case, so I guess that means we can go to uh, to the uh, the game corner. Guys, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of want this flamethrower. Um, I might actually stick around and try to earn some coins to get uh, some of these TMs. All right, let's head to the next city. Alright fam, we got a new Pokemon here, it's a Growlithe. I'm actually going to add this onto the team because, I don't know, we need a fire type, you know, and Growlithe is actually one of my favorites, so let's catch it. That's a pretty solid nature, it, it ups its attack and it lowers its defense. Um, I mean, it's, it's okay, you know, uh, for moves like, wait, is there a physical special split? Oh crap, wait, hold on. But yeah, moves like Bite are going to be good for that, but unfortunately... Um, all, most, almost all fire moves are, are, uh, special. So that's a little bit disappointing, but it's still good. We'll, we'll still hold on to this guy. All right, guys, our Geodude is evolving into Graveler. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. Graveler is gonna be a tank in this run. And there we go, Graveler. 
All right, guys, new Pokemon in the uh, National Park. What do we got? It's a Nidoran. You know, honestly, I'll take that. That's good. Yo, this thing has an adamant nature. That's one of the best natures. Hold on. Poison's foe. Okay, poison. That's actually a really good ability. That's handy. Yo, adamant nature. That's actually so good. So what adamant nature does is it, it ups the attack and it lowers the special attack, which is really good because this guy is a special... This guy's a uh, no, this guy's a physical Pokemon. Peck, double kick, those are all physical moves. This thing is actually going to be useful in this run. Oh my gosh! And like, I'm not even going to lie. The ability and the nature combined is going to make this thing overpowered. Okay, yeah, we are definitely going to be using this. Wow, that's insane. Oh my gosh, guys, I wasn't paying attention. I was. Oh my god, we almost just lost Rock Dude. Oh guys, if we lost this 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 Pokemon. I don't even know. That would have been really bad. Oh god. Okay. Breathe in. Breathe out. It's okay. Oh. Alright, we're gonna fight the Sudowoodo. This used to be one of my favorite Pokemon back in the day. I'd always put it on my team when I played Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Man, good times. Alright guys, I'm a little sad. So it turns out I was stupid and I I downloaded one of the betas for this game, which only was up to the third gym. So that's on me. That was really stupid of me. Uh, so I don't know if I can convert saves to a complete file, but if I can, then yeah, if not, I'll just upload what I have and we can try this with a different game. Hope you guys enjoyed. All right, people. Well, unfortunately, there's no way to get my save onto the updated game. Uh, I apologize for my ignorance. Um, about this i actually feel kind of bad because we had just got that really overpowered nidoran um and i was having fun but it's okay you know we'll try it again sometime and this is this is a good way to dip my toes in a new kind of video and to really just take a break from minecraft uh so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i love you Mwah. peace